everybody, it's Hobby Searcher bringing you a shopping spree video. I kind of went on, on a little bit of a shopping spree on eBay, filling in some gaps in my rookie card collection and some of my, um, and some picking up some Hall of Fame cards and things of that nature. And, you know, seeing what's out there, um, I have a spreadsheet that I keep up with all the key rookie rookies and each set that comes out. And, uh, there's some holes in there and I was trying to fill them. So anyway, thought I would, uh, thought it'd be kind of cool to kind of go through here and just kind of show you what I've, I've, I've got. It's a bunch of stuff that, um, you know, it's just kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. So here's a couple of things I got off of uh, Urban Car Breaks and I already had, um, how's that Conseco Gold Cup, but I, you know, I always want to I love those cards. Here's an each year old gold cut card. I don't think I had, didn't have that. Um, and I think I had something else. Yeah, CC Sabathia gold cut. Out of uh, 2002. So those are kind of some benign ones. Some good ones I picked up. I think this is a 63, I'm not positive, but it's a, um, Insert card of Willie Mays and Orlando Cepeda, two Hall of Famers. It's really cool. I really like the, uh, it's good centering on it. Corners are a little mushy, but I would suggest if you um, are a Hall of Fame collector, start picking up some Willie Mays cars because as soon as he passes away, those things are going to skyrocket. Not that that's the reason, but anyway. So I got me a George Springer, 2014 update. Didn't have one of those. He's having a really good year this year. Xander Bogarts. Series 1 of 2014. And uh, had some, I didn't have many Bryce Harper cards, so I picked up a, I think this is a series, this is, no, this is the update pro debut uh, Bryce Harper, not a variation, but still a nice, nice card. Um, found a really good deal on a Cody Bellinger PSA 9 All-Star Game rookie card from 2017 update. I know he's not having, he hasn't done very well since his MVP season, but still he's one of my favorite players and I mean, I think I picked this thing up for 10 bucks or something. PSA 9 for 10 bucks. Not too shabby. This was a pretty expensive car. Got a 2014 update um, Jacob deGrom rookie card. His cards have skyrocketed. I think they've come down a little bit this year just because of... Uh, what's happened to him, but still, that's a pretty expensive Ricky card for this time. Uh, Bryce Harper update all-star card from 2012, update. No more Garcia Parra, I didn't have this in my Ricky collection. So I got this out of, um, got this off of eBay. I think this is um, 92 traded in his, uh, USA. This one I was a little sad in. I thought, oh wow, no, I'm sorry. This is not the this is not the one I was thinking about. Yeah, I got me a '85 Fleer Roger Clemens. Didn't have this one. It's a nice looking card. Uh, I think I got these off of um, Urban Two, Big Cat Andres Galarraga. 86 Fleer rookie cards. I like those. He was one of you know, like watch it hip. And this is a Fleer traded of his, just a, kind of a first shot of him in a single, as a single. Got this one from Urban Car Breaks as well. Chet Lemon rookie card. Nineteen seventy six rookie outfielders and a seven top seventy seven. Grabbed a Nolan Arenado rookie card. He's having a great year. 
That's 2013 update. Anthony Rizzo, since he's you know a Yankee, this is a 2011 update. Heard I didn't have this one. And I grabbed a Javier Baez rookie card out of 2015. For that series two, I could be wrong. Jose Abreu, good player for the White Sox rookie card. I think that's a 14 series one or two, maybe series two. Didn't have this one, this Andre Dawson. 77 rookie card. I've got his gold cut card, which that's kind of the most popular one that they do, but grab this one. And then I got a really good deal on our George Brett rookie card, and it did not pay $120 for it. Really good. I mean, it's decent centering for a 75. You can't find me 75s that are going to corners are a little rough on the bottom, but that's a really cool card. I really like that card. And kind of make a nice little dent in my Hall of Fame rookie card collection. Here's another one, Robin Yount. This one's a hard one that I've been trying to find. That's actually in decent shape. Those 76 cards are usually not in good shape. Of course, the dude that gave this one to me didn't even put it in a penny sleeve. But anyway, I got to get it out of there. It's got a spot on the back, but I don't care. Ted Simmons Ricky card. Those are hard to find. Badly off center, but the corners look good. The edges look good. It's not frayed like a lot of them I see. I don't see any kind of creasing or anything, but that's pretty cool. Larry Walker, 1990 Leaf. Still on the lookout for a Frank Thomas. Just haven't pulled the trigger on one of those. Trevor Story, 2016 update. Uh, can't remember where I grabbed this one. I think I bought this off of somebody. Gavin Lux Mojo. I like him. Noah Syndergaard. Um, I got both his. Of course, the dude who sent these to me put them all in one top loader and penny sleeve. I love that. So I got to go through and separate, separate these. So Noah Syndergaard. Base rookie and rookie debut, Chris Bryant, rookie debut, and Jorge Soler, rookie debut. And then an A-Rod, upper deck, 94 upper deck, collector's choice. And then, uh, I found a guy who was just selling team sets, so I ended up getting a Tampa Rays 2009 team set that uh, had David Price's rookie card. There it is with Longoria and David Price's rookie card. But these cards are really nice. And a Francisco Lindor rookie card and his rookie debut. Another one where they stuck in the same top loader. Manny Machado rookie card from 13, Series 1, I believe. Michael Conforto. It's got a strange finish to it. It's probably the Penny sleeve. That's series one of uh, 2016. Edwin Diaz for 15 update, 16 update, I mean. Anthony Rendon debut. I don't have his base rookie, but I've got his debut. Bradley Mondesi. from 16 Series 2. And a nice Larry Walker 90 Fleer. I didn't have this one as part of my Hall of Fame rookie collection. But anyway, as you can see, I've uh, been a little busy. Uh, these were not all in one 
purchase, but you know, went about and tried to find some good deals and picked up what I could find. And yeah, I didn't spend a ton of money on these newer rookies, though. Obviously, the George Brett card was a little pricey, but still, that's a hard one to come by and check off the list. So, but anyway. Thought you might be interested in seeing that. Please, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And, you know, I want to hover around that 420 mark now on subscribers. I'd like to eventually get up to 500 and kind of push the content out. So please, uh, please share this out. I appreciate it. Hope everybody has a great day.